It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I want to thank Paul and Michelle. Cheers guys at Rate My Beer. Please check them out. They've got a YouTube channel. They review beer. Same as I do. They've got some, they got a fantastic bar. An absolute fantastic bar. They've got one of these kind of like German beer pumps. It's a Francis Carner one, but they've actually got the damn thing working. It's amazing. Francis Carner beer pump. They've got an amazing bar. Please check them out. Uh, they've sent me a, a beer today, and this is by Hackney Church Brewery, and this is the St. Clement's Wheat Beer, Yuzu edition. So it's a, a wheat beer with a little bit of Yuzu fruit added, which I believe, off the top of my head, correct me in the comments box if I'm wrong, is a Japanese fruit. Looks like a, some kind of Japanese lemon. Um, it's won a European Beer Challenge double gold in 2023. I love a wheat beer. Paul knows I love a wheat beer. So let's get this Hackney Church Brewing Company beer out into a glass and see what we get. It is 5% ABV. It's also won a Seba Gold as well. So lots of awards for this beer. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. I'm also going to pair it, you can probably see it on the bar there, some Buck and Bird Salami Crisps. We'll get into those in a moment. So I met Paul and Michelle twice this year. Haven't met them before now. Um, but I met them at the Great British Beer Festival 2020. Oh, look at that. Oh, hang on, I've got to pause a moment. Just pour, just poured that last little bit of yeast in to the bottom of the glass, and you can just see then. If you want to rewind the video, that last little inch of beer got thrown in, and it's just made everything lovely and nice and hazy. Uh, nice carbonated beer as well. It's not a nucleated glass. This so natural carbonation on this beer. Uh, it's a three to four finger white head. Nice hazy kind of straw coloured beer looks like a really good vice beer yeah i, I met paul and michelle at uh, the great british beer festival back in july and then i met them last month in august at london craft beer festival that was it we had a great time we had a great time drinking having fun uh, you know the first time when you meet someone um you know, that little kind of getting to know someone, conversations slightly kind of, not, not over, it wasn't overly awkward, but you know, just that kind of like when you're getting to know someone, speaking to someone for the first time, um, that was GBBF. By the time we got to London Craft Beer Festival, it was as if we knew each other for such a long time. It was just great. I, I love people like that. Absolutely salt of the earth, just like me, down to earth, fantastic people. Cheers, guys. So... Let's get the aroma on this beer then. Yes. You know, one of the most difficult things to do with a wheat beer, vice beer, is to add anything to it really because it just wants to be its own thing. It wants to be banana-y, kind of spicy, clovey. It just wants to be its own entity. It's a yeast-forward flavoured beer, a vice beer. And the most difficult thing you can do is add hops or fruit or anything like that to it because it just wants to go, no, leave me alone. I want to be a vice beer. I want to, I want to be a wheat beer. I want to just have my own clove and banana taste going on here and I don't want anything else added. So it's very difficult to get it right. But when you do get it right, when you get that balance right, it can just enhance it and taste fantastic. But it's a very delicate, balanced kind of line to take. In the aroma, at least, this smells tremendous. Got the banana, the clove, the spicy, the pepperiness. But then in the background of the aroma, you just get a little bit of that kind of, maybe some clementine or some lemon or something. It's obviously the yuzu. 
Smells great. Definitely get the wheat. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Boom! Stone the crows! Stone the crows! What a fantastic beer this is! My goodness me, that's good! That's unbelievably good! Where do I begin with this beer? It's almost made my eyes water. It's almost made me emotional. <laughs> wow. Gotta go again. Gotta go again. Oh. It's light, airy, fluffy like. I'm breathing out. I like to breathe out when I taste kind of wit beer, white beers, vice beers, because you're always, you're always getting the sense of that wheat, that wheat, that malt. You're breathing it. You can feel it as you're breathing out. You taste it. Lovely, malty, wheaty backbone to the beer. Spicy, peppery, little bit of that kind of banana and clove flavour, and then a little cut. A little slice, a little cut of kind of lemon and clementine yuzu. Oh, it's fantastic. Not overly done. The biggest fault with this beer would, now I'm using the word would, would have been if they put too much yuzu in or if they put too much clementine or if they put too much orange in. It would have overpowered the flavour. As I was talking about earlier on, vice beer wants to be its own entity. It doesn't want to be messed about with. So if you're going to do anything like that, it just has to be a tickle. It just has to be a small tickle of yuzu, a small tickle of clementine or lemon. And they've done that. Hackney Church Brewing Company have done that. They, they, they literally just added enough. Of, of lemon so you get a sense of it you get a sense and a small taste of it and it complements it complements the vice beer that is incredible beer absolutely incredible incredible beer I can imagine Paul and Michelle right now I, oh, not right now, but in the in the past, they probably tried this beer, and they've gone, oh my god, oh my oh my goodness, that's amazing, and they probably bought like eight or nine cans, and they probably had a session on it, they or or they drink it where they live type of thing, and they they just they just sessioned this, and I can see them session it, and then and then at the end of the session, they've gone, I know who will really love this. As they're drinking their last can of the eight cans, you know, and and they 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 kind of noshing down on some peanuts or something. I know who'll love this beer, Simon over at Real Ale Craft, and, and they've decided to send me a can. And I love that. I think it's absolutely fantastic, and I really appreciate it because I love vice beer. I absolutely love vice beer. I think it's just one of the most amazing styles in the world, for beer. Um, and that user edition is just the bee's knees. So we, I'm, I'm just going to hold the can to the side and read. Our hackney take on a traditional half bison. Expect the usual fruit and spice of a wheat beer with subtle orange and lemon flavours to give this old favourite an East London twist. Brewed and canned at Hackney Church Brewing Company, Hackney Central. Incredible. Incredible, incredible beer. I've spoken for nine minutes or so now about the beer. I haven't even opened up the salami crisps yet. So, sorry Buck and Bird, I'm going to be slightly brief with this because I've been 
raving, raving about the beer so much. But I do like these. I had the chili version. Uh, so this is Buckenberg Salami Crest original flavor. I had the chili version uh, just the other week. Paul also sent them. But they they are salami crisps. Of course, crisps need to be crunchy. Look, they crunch. It's crispy, crunchy salami. With a vice beer. What's not to love? Why is not to love? Before I run this YouTube channel, 12 or 13 years ago, I used to be a very basic eater. Used to love my bird's eye breaded chicken breast things with some oven chips, that sort of thing. Very, very, with beans, very basic eater. From the Chinese restaurant, you might be, you might see me eating a little bit of chicken chow mein, and that was exotic for me back then. My wife introduced me to Indian, Indian food when we first met. Never tried Indian food, and I was well into my 30s at that stage. <clears throat> and that was a slow process. Now I'm eating everything from the Indian. What I'm trying to say here is that my general interest in beer, because I always wanted to try different beers, didn't want to necessarily try different foods, but I always wanted to try different beers. That that introduction of trying different beers then led me into visiting countries like Poland and Germany and about five years ago I was going all over the place Croatia I was going everywhere 10 to five years ago and, and I was eating all these wonderful foods and trying all these wonderful different things like like sour cabbage in Poland and amazing Sauerkraut, I think it's called. What I'm trying to say is... It's like having an extra arm. Or it's like having an extra leg. An extra eye. An extra ear. If you keep yourself down that narrow path of just enjoying what you like. And I understand it if you do, because I was the same. Then you just kind of like, almost kind of like muddle along in life. But the moment you go off cal kilter, the moment you go off track, you go, oh, what's down that road down there? I'm going to go down that road instead of going down the normal road here. You get to try wonderful beers like this and you get to try wonderful food like this and it it gives you it gives you a, a massive mental uplift a massive kind of it just helps you mentally if you can try Lots of different beers, lots of different foods, you're always interested in something. It, it's almost as if it's like a natural endorphin, that's what I was looking for. A natural endorphin in life is to, is to, is to enjoy lots of different foods and lots of different beers. I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm now 15 minutes into this review, it's, it's going to be a long one, I do apologise. But I've not even noticed that... It's mid-September. The rain's hitting the conservatory roof. It's going to be a dull old day today. A dull old windy rainy day. And I don't care. I literally don't care because I've got great beer and great food. And that's all that matters in life. So thanks Paul. Thanks Michelle for sending me the beer and the food. The beer is 
I think the awards this beer has won, a, a, world, um, a, a, a European Beer Challenge and a SEBA Regional Gold winner, I think this is probably, I, I mean, I, I have had some Hackney Church beer, beers before, not rated too many. But I love it. I love I love that beer. I think that's one of the best beers. One of the best Hefeweizen I've ever had. And it's from London, not even Germany. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the Hefeweizen beer. The Salami Crisps are absolutely brilliant. They're great too. They're a 9 out of 10. Yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry for the length of the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.